Hi, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. And if you are in the market for an absolutely beautiful, uh, pristine Rinker 270 Fiesta V, uh, this is a boat you got to see. The outside's got the beautiful blue hull, it shines. The front deck is absolutely gorgeously clean. Windless anchor up on the front. The canvas is in exceptionally nice condition. The front actually was just redone. The back is a few years old, but in really, really sharp shape. And a lot of great upgrades to this boat that we're gonna, that we're gonna take a look at. Uh, and one thing with a rinker, I mean, they give you a lot of boat for the money to start with. And I think the big thing, we start right back here at this big swim platform. And I love the aqua traction. That was just installed and it's installed through the entire cockpit area. Nice full camper back. You got a nice big screen on the back. Uh, we're going to talk more about the sound system, which is incredible. It's all JL audio speakers in the cockpit. Uh, nice big JL amps down in the motor compartment. You can see they put the speakers right here on the back of the boat as well. Just a great, great setup that way. You got a transom shower on the back of the boat. Take a quick walk down this side of the boat. Um, truly, I don't see any scratches or major scuffs in the side of it. The white is absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful and shiny. Nice big stainless bow rails. Nice thing on those bow rails from Rinker, they're all fully welded as well. Those are not a piece together bow rail. So just really, really sharp setup. So we are going to take a walk inside the boat, but the uh, exterior is very, very sharp. All right, so we're going to walk inside the cockpit here, and this is where a rinker really comes to life. For the size of boat, this cockpit is absolutely huge. Um, again, all the aqua traction flooring turned out phenomenal. As you go inside the boat, you have a huge L shape port side seating, all stainless steel grab rails, all stainless steel cup holders, and there are a ton of cup holders in this boat. The full back bench seat, there's storage underneath. We'll look at a few other features. There's a table that can go in here, and he does have the filler cushions. Like I talked about earlier, all the JL audio up top here. It's worth noting the wet bar with trash. And again, the nice big stainless grab handle. And he also put in a 110 outlet right back here in the back of the boat. So a very, very sharp setup that way. Work our way forward. We'll look at the helm. Very crisp and clean. You might notice he had all new switches put in the boat. So all the switches are brand new. Boat has about 820 hours on it. Powered by a 350 meg, 300 horse Merc Cruiser with the Bravo 3. Flip up bolster seat. Just a great setup. Show you a few other things in the back of the boat here. So I mentioned the cockpit table, simply slides in. It's uh, nice, it's got drink holders, plate holders, just a super simple setup, but nice and convenient, easy to slide in. Also, I was mentioning the filler cushions. This is a great add-on. If you like the idea of kind of a big sun island inside the boat, um, or an additional sleeping space, the cockpit filler cushions are a phenomenal idea. They simply slide in and just make this entire large cockpit into a big sun island. Alright, so we pretty well looked at the outside of the boat in the cockpit area here. Let's take a look down inside the cabin. It's a little hard to see, but we will uh, get a better view here in just a second. The uh, cabin of this boat is beautiful. We're going to take a closer look at everything. Um, and one thing video is not going to show is the actual size of this cabin. The headroom is phenomenal. This uh, forward area here has a table and it can be filled in to be a bed. We'll take a look at that here in just a minute. But the uh, overall size of the cabin is nice. Also something we'll try to point out here, all vinyl headliner. The whole headliner is all vinyl along with the sides. Keeps it really easy to uh, stay clean. Flooring, all very nice. All the upholstery is very sharp as well. As I mentioned, there's a nice large table that can go in here. It simply slides in. That table is also used to convert the forward area into a sleeping area. Simply slide it down, place the filler cushion in along with the insert, and you've got this monster forward berth. Um, I don't exactly know how big it is, but I would imagine it's got to be close to 7 feet. I'm 6'1", and I can easily fit in there, but it is, uh, it's a very easy setup in this 270 Rinker. 
He also did a nice job. You can look as you're, uh, if you were laying in bed here, it's got a TV mounted up there. Your stereo head unit is mounted there. Storage behind the uh, door. You've also got your air conditioning and heat controls right there as well. Take a look on the other side here. You'll have your galley, microwave, electric alcohol cooktop, stainless steel sink, nice cabinetry, refrigerator and storage below. Just a very crisp, very clean looking da uh, galley here on this 270. While we're over on this side of the boat here, we might as well take a look. More storage. Your uh, 110 power panel. Nice and easy and convenient. Take a look back in the mid cabin and it's very open. You also maybe notice these steps are uh, open underneath. So it really gives it a nice open feel when you're in the mid cabin. But uh, it's very clean. It's very sharp. You got nice storage. And it's very big and very deep. I don't know if uh, video will really show that well, but it is a very impressive mid cabin for a 27 foot boat. Another area we didn't talk about yet is the head compartment. The head compartment in this boat for a 27, very, very nice. All fiberglass lined, stainless sink, the ability to be a shower. You've got a mirror in there, you've got open storage up above, towel rack on the back side, opening window. Very clean, very crisp, nice uh, nice head on a 270. So that kind of wraps up here, a quick video on this 270 Fiesta V from Rinker. Very good looking boat, lots of nice features and options. Uh, some that I probably didn't mention include like uh, air conditioning and heat. I think I mentioned the windless anchor, full camper enclosure, it's got the arch, all the stainless cup holders, upgraded stereo, the... Uh, aqua traction flooring just overall a boat that simply should not disappoint again i'm zach pater here at river valley marina river valley power and sport in red wing minnesota i'd be glad to answer any questions you have or set up a time to view thanks for watching our video and have a great day